There's one woman in my life that I'll never say who she is. It's my little secret. And I regret not having with her. Do it. I'll never tell you when I met her, how, or anything. But having said that, and we come off of the cupcake, now let's get to business. We came across this pitch. And this pitch, man, I don't know what to make of it. But it certainly shows that at least there are people complaining about the corruption around here besides me. Out of all races, they don't like it. And when you're black, it has a nasty sting to it. Just put yourself in a black man's shoes, an angry black martial arts. I mean, put it in perspective, man. Stop, not, stop separating yourself from me. When you live in reality, you're pissed off. Do not attempt to think or depression may occur, as it says in Paris' song, right? Martial law. Type in Paris, martial law. You know, hip hop song if you have to. Okay. Now, what does that tell you? It tells you if you live in reality, you know, it's, it's going to affect you differently. Now, depending on your personality, you know, who, what kind of person you are, how you see things, stage of mind, state of mind, environmental factors. Okay? I'm in a true African natural state of mind and there's nothing wrong with that. How on earth can we disrespect Africans, the original people, by making it illegal, unofficially illegal, and unofficially taboo to have an African culture? An Afro-Asiatic religion is like, you know, Abrahamic faiths, you know, and Egyptian uh, mythology, and Igbo, and Nubian, all the war cultures, Zulu, heavens, the people of heaven, the Zulus. I am a warrior of God. And I'm not some fanatic who lost his mind. This is what people have believed for many, many years. They want you to believe that a religious, humble African martial artist who had to take his rightful place and emphatically and vehemently declare his glory, his splendor, in the name of the Lord. And when people ask, where did you get your great martial art divine war? Jesus' sword. Scripture, the word, the word is the war, and the war is against the beast and the whore. So when you take on their characteristics, when you become the beast, you become the enemy of God. Does it mean we should blow you up or some crazy shit like that? Unless it's on and cracking or some crazy shit like that. But make no mistake. For the same reason it's not cool to push around little Palestinian kids and say they're Muslim terrorists. It's for the same reason it's not cool to push around little black kids in the fucking ghetto and say that they are street terrorists. When you are the ones terrorizing people every day with your satanic cults and everyone knows it. You are the Roman wolves. You are the Greco bulls, the apis. The Hellenization of Serapis. You are that Lucifer missing his tail, Hades looking motherfucker. How many of you think it's a coincidence that Hades officially is part of the tail of Serapis, the Hellenization? How many of you think it's a coincidence? Literally, the person that they believed was the pagan lord of hell, is the person they put on the cross. And do you think? That doesn't make them devil-worshipping scum. Then what does? Then they gave them some Viking characteristics when the Vikings invaded, definitively, because they couldn't stop my white brothers. Those little snakes, uh, you know, trying to stop the fucking dragons coming through? Yes, when the dragons rise, everyone is put in place, begging for their fucking lives. But no, I became a good man. Because the word of God, like with many of my Viking brothers, resonates well with me. With many of my black brothers, we speak of it passionately. Is it fair to deny a man who he is because you don't like it? Even though it has kept us, it has created us, it has helped us grow mentally, spiritually, physically, and has helped our heart grow. From bread, our heart was strengthened, the lamb's bread, the word of God strengthened real martial artists hearts and you sniveling effeminate sissies want to separate every race from that well i say come get me if that is the charge for being a true african and doing the will of god then come get me but at least have the courage to admit flat out that that is what it's about 
you pale Ninevite, enemies of God, anti-Christian, Luciferian, shadow-walking, gang-stalking, harassing, persecuting, iniquitous, rapacious, ferocious beasts that are mixed with the head of a wolf, the head of a dragon, the head of a leopard that has accepted Seti's point of view. Is that sun rising or is it setting? I say it's rising. Well, I say it's setting. Well, I say I'm going to shoot you in the... Uh, 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 you know, I'm just giving an example, okay? I know sometimes I talk like this, it worries you people. I know that. This is part of the African way of telling things. I am not your kindergarten teacher. If you want to play patty cake and listen to fucking that one bitch who, you know, uh, uh, Mary Poppins with the umbrella and shit, you know what I'm saying? If that's what you want to do, cuz, by all means, you kangaroo jack motherfucker. But when you want the raw truth from a real African martial artist, who the system isn't going to fucking set up any time, and you tune into a real motherfucking hawk. Now I'm out this bitch, cuz. Before these pussies come get me just for telling the truth in a way that is respectable in public. At the park at that. Come on, cuz. There's a difference between a black person and a quote-unquote nigger according to these racist people. Okay? That's why they say your kind, not your race. What kind of black person are you? Are you whitewashed? Are you from a controlled movement? that thinks they're black militants? Or are you a real, raw, African Christian who really is ready to go to war, for instance, like my Ethiopian brothers? I'm sorry if there's been a misunderstanding. I just don't like, you know, they made me think that you guys are talking shit. And I know that some of you got love for me. It makes me want to scrape them so hard, you know? If you're one of my Ethiopian brothers, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but I'm gonna tell you what I would do. And no, I don't expect you to do anything, and I know you probably won't. I'm leaving there. Look, Sheree. Reality. Real. Real. Really, I understand it without the W, H, and Y telling me shit. From the devil's pit, they can suck a goat dick and lick a donkey's tit. If they even have something like that. I assume they do. You know, I am not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, the point is, you tell them niggas. Oh, you listen here. Oh, you niggas talking about animal stuff right now. Oh, you biologists thinking you're smarter than me. You listen here, nigga. Standard of living, comfort women. Okay, I need some comfort women. Where did that come from? Where did it come from? Where does the comfort come from? And why is come? Come. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Which means you get to... No, not you. No, you get to come with my windows cracks a little bit. You, you know, you come together, right? When you tell someone, come here. Servant, come here. That means you might have to make me come. Now, you might not think these are valid connections. Again, I tell you, whether this is Babylon or God, putting it in a way that you can say this in a way that is true. Because you can always do wordplay in a way that is false. But ask yourself, to, is it wrong to connect come, to come here? When we all know that that's how kings used to get down. There's a reason why Solomon had so many concubines and wives, if you get what I'm saying. Now, if you were a racist white person and you came and you saw all these women of different races getting the Solomon dick, wouldn't you be pissed off? Wouldn't it affect your ability to comfort yourself? And when you have a stupid, ugly bitch next to you, you'd be like, get away from me, slut! That guy's getting all the pussy. If you think pussy was never an issue, man, I ought to run my fist across your jaw. How dare you people sit here like pussy doesn't matter, like, oh, let these bitches do what they want, and they just happen to do what the white man wants them to do, and if that's what they want to do, fine. All you niggas who think like that, slap yourselves right now hard. It's time to wake up. Drink a full cup of coffee. Take a shot of 151. Wait to sober up, you know, pause, wait to sober up, and finish the video. Nigga, wake your ass up. Feel irritated. Watch my videos when you are irritated. Because I am irritated all the time when I talk about it. You want to understand me, nigga? You got to think like me. You got to fight like me. You got to fuck like me. And once you do that, do you really want to fight with me?
or do you want to fight with me? The pro and the con, the truth and the lie, in the same word. Double entendres and whatnot. No pun intended and whatnot. You think these pussies don't do wordplay? They're not a bunch of geeky old effeminate guys in, in secret societies making fun of people with words? You know, they're like, hey, they're little, they're stupid old, you just imagine a stupid old Irish immature guy, no offense, you know, you know, some Irish are cool, you know, a, a stupid old Jew, okay, a stupid old, you know, no, 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 basically, you know, imagine every race, the stupid old immature people, like those guys in the military that do practical jokes, okay, when they get older, you know, still, you know, they want it their way, so they're going to do these little immature things, like make your car smell bad when you go on a date, right, they'll put something in, some remote control something in your, your car, right, They'll, they'll fume you in your car. And they'll think you're smart. they're smarter than you because they understand white man technology because they're white man education, right? You know, people like me, we don't look into this stuff as heavily. I mean, even though I have a degree in software engineering, I don't give a flying fuck about it. I can't remember the last time I looked up any code on the internet because I don't fucking care. I don't even know what the fuck is going on in IT right now. I don't care. I'm a man of God. Not some fucking geek, with all due respect. I don't give a shit about your geek technology. And you you geeks have overstepped your bounds when you've teamed up with the New World Order to, sh to shun me. When you're getting all the baddest bitches and you're a sniveling coward that hid in a cave, yes, it is wrong. It is unnatural. I repeat, it is unnatural for you feminine little sniveling dogs to get all the pussy, whether they are old or young. It is unnatural for liberals to convince good black women and other women of good races to have some kind of hippie fucking orgy in some kind of stupid new age movement. Oh, Buddhist psychology, feminist psychology, secular humanism. That is fucking immoral. Oh, we know it's immoral. That's why we're called moral relativists, assholes. And that is the fucking response I get. That is what I get from these dogs. And they didn't invent it for me. I'm not the first Christian that gave them the business. Every, uh, Christians from every race have given them the business. Sorry, I'm making my, I gotta get out of here now. But, uh, <clears throat> point is, you know, these people are fucking scum. Okay? They're scum. They're the type of scum that make you go to the psych ward ten times and never stop fighting them. The type of scum that make you leave the pyramid temple and leave all your shit behind. But a fucking only pack one bag. They're the type of scum that kill kids, break down families, drug you. They bring drugs into the community. You think the CIA brought crack into the community, but they wouldn't dream of using the pharmaceutical sector, which on record has ties to the Mexican drug cartels. Google it. Google pharmaceutical company under investigation for supplying drug cartel. Now you tell me they wouldn't dream of doing it. You look a man of God in the eyes in a church that you actually respect and you say that they wouldn't, the CIA would not dream, would never do any CIA doctor shit. And that everyone who thinks the CIA is up to no good wears a tinfoil hat even though waterboarding is a controversial subject. You tell me that they limit it to waterboarding. You tell me that so I can run this fist uh, against my punching bag, nigga. Not, not threatening you, Nick. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave it there. There are a lot of racist cops who are scum who have a typical attitude for their area where they live, their family, their church. And yes, there are a lot of white racist groups and their culture makes it so they have to be racist in many ways to be successful and that's part of what's wrong with America. For instance, they will probably say some bitch shit like this when you say tomato. Actually, it's pronounced tomato. Yeah, if you don't know, just shut up. You know, before that, they will be thinking, now's my chance. Now's my moment to correct them on the one thing I know. Yeah! Oh, he thought it was this. Ha ha ha. I'm so smart. Let me look how snug as a cop and drive off. And my partner knows that I'm really a bitch who's bitter inside. He sees through my envy, jealousy, and hatred and my Luciferian pitiful kind of energy that is seething from my decrepit, twisted soul. My contorted, excuseful soul, that is.